Good day, everybody. Uh, this is the second time I've done this video. Uh, the first time I did it, I kept saying allegedly because I wasn't sure if the um, leak from the Supreme Court actually happened. And since I did the video, Chief Justice Roberts came out and confirmed that it was a leak. So I'm changing this. And this is why I didn't publish because I really wanted to make sure about what I was talking about as to whether I was right or not. And fortunately, other than the fact that I kept saying allegedly leaked, uh, everything I said in the last video is accurate. But because I didn't publish it, I figured, well, I'm going to fix that. So here I am trying to fix it and get this video out so that we can start having conversation about it uh, a little easier. Two days ago, uh, it came out that a decision concerning Roe versus Wade was being made, was was being made, and it was leaked what that decision was, and basically what the decision was is to reverse Roe versus Wade. Now, what that means, and this is one of the things I wanted to find out for sure, because I heard what, you know, they, they read it to the people on TV and every, all the conservative uh, outlets. Uh, basically, what it says is that it's not in the purview of the federal government to decide whether abortion is um, should be allowed or not, that it should be put on the states. Is basically what it boiled down to. And I wanted to make sure that that's what it was saying. And it's been confirmed as well. <clears throat> Don't listen to what Elizabeth Warren, who had a meltdown, or AOC, who's also having a meltdown, uh, don't listen to what they're saying because, quite frankly, that's what they're saying is because Roe versus Wade might be uh, overturned, that abortion is going to be illegal. That's not true. All it does is it puts it on the states. Let the states decide whether they want abortion allowed in their state or not, which means that the people will get to vote. They will get to decide. The people, you and me, will get to decide. Now, personally, I'm, if I have the opportunity to vote for or against abortion, I'm going against abortion because I believe in the science for towards this. The science is that uh, a living organism's cells multiply and divide, which means that uh, life begins at conception. When the seed and the egg come together, the cells multiply, they divide, they begin to grow, and they become uh, bigger and better and, you know, starts to form a systems and everything else. And in a nine-month period, you have, you're, you're giving birth to a baby. Uh, I firmly believe that life begins at conception, and then, and it's not up to us to end that life. That is a job for God. If God decides the baby's not going to go full term, that's his decision. That's not ours. But that's beside the fact. Um, the left is having a big meltdown over it because they're misconstruing what it means. And the only thing we can do is just sit back and fight for what we believe is right. Um, I believe a child is conceived through... Uh, God's hands, because how many people can't conceive children? Uh, if you think about it, if God decides you're going to have kids, you're going to have kids. If God decides you're not going to have kids, you're not going to have kids. So it's a definitely um, in God's hands. And I'm also a firm believer that you don't know what kind of child you're aborting when you abort one, it could be somebody who has the answers to all of the world's problems. It could be somebody who is equated to that of Hitler or Putin. You just don't know. They're innocent at the time that they are conceived. They remain innocent until they start to show who they are. And you don't know who they are 
until then. So basically, when you have an abortion, in my opinion, you're killing an innocent being. And as long as we're not going to use death sentences for evil people, then we shouldn't be using death sentences for innocent beings. Now, the other thing that's come out, which I think is, is kind of on the funny side, but at the same time, it's very maddening and frustrating because you know what, what's going on. You know that the premises behind it is to lie to people, and that is this disinformation thing. They've got some disinformation czar who's been posted in Washington to supposedly um, tell us what's true and what isn't. She's being assigned by a leftist president who can't seem to get his head out of his ass for any anything. And she is a disinformationist herself. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the video, but she actually takes uh, a Mary Poppins song, changes the words, and starts spreading disinformation in, in that song. Um, everything that she says in that song has been proven wrong. She did it a couple of years ago, but it's still been proven wrong. Um, she's definitely a leftist, and I think she's off her rocker. I think she's got more mental dysfunction than President Biden, if you really want my honest opinion. Maybe not in the same way, but still there. Now, the Republicans have decided to put out a bill to not fund this position. But that doesn't mean the bill's going to pass because the left is all for it. And right now we're even in Congress, but I think we're outnumbered in the Senate. Or you know what I mean. We're even in one spot and outnumbered in another. Uh, so we got a lot of strange things going on. Now, the problem with, let's go back to that leak, though. There is a problem with this leak. Right now, the way I understand it, it's a, this Roe versus Wade is a five to four decision. Now, it wasn't supposed to be released till June, which gives plenty of time for people to change their minds, for the, the justices to change their minds. And, uh, you know, discuss it argue about it, whatever, and figure out what they want to do. Now that it's been leaked, there's going to be one of two things that's going to happen. The judge justices are going to stick to their guns and let it through just to say, you know, screw you. Or they're going to be um, bullied into changing their minds. If they do the screw you, tactic what's going to happen with another leak are they going to uh, continue doing that and make a bad decision because of it or if they decide to back down does that mean every time they have an unpopular decision that it's going to be changed every time it's leaked just because people want to protest it I'm sorry, I just, this leak really bothers me. The individual who leaked it ought to be held in contempt of court, ought to be charged to the fullest extent with any law that they can find that it was broken. And that person should never, ever be able to see the light of day again, in my opinion, because what they did was completely and utterly wrong. There's no morals or ethics left in this country once the Supreme Court loses its morals and ethics. So, all right, I'm going to have to let you go. It seems Madison wants my attention, thinks that's more important. So we will talk to you all later.